Hello, uh, I'm Rio Teracado. I'm a violinist, um, mainly Baroque violin. I teach in The Hague Conservatoire and uh, Brussels, also in Tokyo and in Korea. Uh, I also conduct um, Baroque orchestras, sometimes modern orchestras. I'm uh, visiting uh, uh, my uh, longtime friend uh, Dmitry Badyarov's uh, violin making atelier. He is not only a violinist but uh, also a fine violin maker. It's always the first uh, thing to, to recommend is uh, Dmitry Badyarov. Because uh, I think, of course, um, as a violinist, it, it is always interesting to have an uh, old violin. But uh, at the same time, the newly made violin with a, a strong concept is uh, sometimes even more interesting because you are dealing with a um, kind of living uh, creature uh, and you are, you are exchanging uh, the ideas with uh, the living maker. And uh, Dimitri has uh, such uh, unique ideas and his violin is always uh, very, very uh, unique characters. So every violin is different, uh, even from him. But uh, I, I think it's one of the most interesting thing to, to encounter his instrument and uh, to, to make your musical journey together with his violins. I own three of his instruments. Uh, of course, a violin, a baroque violin, and a very early style of violin. It was a kind of experiment uh, for him, and uh, one viola della spalla. I have uh, seen his work since years and years, and uh, I know anybody who who has this intelligence and uh, this uh, originality in his making. Well, I play uh, a lot his spalla. I play a uh, uh, cello suite uh, by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. It was his fifth uh, violoncello da Spalla. Well, uh, when I uh, got to know about this instrument, I, get, I got really fascinated and asked Dima to, to make one of those. And he made one for me. Uh, it was all the, the life through uh, exper experiments. First of all, the, uh, the strings, and then uh, bows and uh, etc. and etc. Not only that, we um, I think uh, we exchanged all, uh, a lot of informations of uh, how to play this instrument. So uh, this is this was an interesting journey uh, through violoncello da spalla, and uh, I I have uh, a lot of experience with his violins. I I think I know most of his violins uh, until now and. Um, uh, the one I have uh, was made uh, in Japan. Uh, that was a time that he uh, was working on uh, proportions and he has found a beautiful pro proportion and he explained to me and it, it was really fascinating. And uh, it was not only the theory and as a result the sound was fantastic. And I got in love with this um, violin and I asked him if I uh, could have this uh, violin. And finally I have it and uh, I, I play it a lot. Thanks for watching this video. I wish you liked it and uh, see you next time.